Easter Sunday is typically a time for many different groups to gather together. Religious organizations take the time to celebrate their beliefs in the resurrection, businesses host events for children and their families, and other relatives take time to celebrate in private. That all changed this year due to the coronavirus. While churches closed their doors to preach virtually and other public Easter events were canceled across the valley due to coronavirus, plans for many families changed this year. Morgan Haynes and her two daughters made the holiday as interactive as they could at home. So every year the girls and I meet um, my college friends at the JW Marriott um, and we have a whole experience. We get rooms, we hire the Easter Bunny to come in and um, do campfire stuff. So we have a lot of fun um, with all of their activities and the girls look forward to it every year. We've been doing it I think for six years now. And this year, as with, as everyone knows with coronavirus, we weren't able to do that. So um, we ended up staying in and trying to make it as fun and as interesting as possible because it really is the holiday that our family looks um, forward to. Although Haynes' daughters, Isabel and Gianna, were looking forward to attending the annual event at the JW Marriott, they made this year just as special. I like having Easter at home too. We did do Easter egg hunts and we played lots of games and then we also did like a little brunch restaurant thing. Izzy set up the table and then we also like gave everybody their drinks and food. Staying creative with your families at home can be challenging, but sometimes you'll have an excellent outcome. Reporting for Cronkite News, I'm Emma Parkhouse.